Welcome back. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. And the Washington offense heading out. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff, and it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. On second down, it's Chambers. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You look at this Cowboy defense. They come into this one ranked number five in the NFL against the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they can get to him. To throw on third down, Brooks. He finds his man complete. It's Barnett. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle. The ball should be there. And then they can get to do some work afterwards. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw. Brooks. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. Brooks. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. Washington going to send out their putter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the stakes in this game certainly high as we get toward the end of the regular season. For now, they are holding a wild card spot, but there are no shortage of other teams in the NFC looking to take that spot from them. Starting with the guys on the other side of the field because they're on the outside looking in, and no one likes to be in that position. You want to be in the room, not looking inside to see everyone else having fun. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Three catches, 88 yards, and a touchdown. Look, I know everybody wants to be number one in everything they do, but he's number two in the league in receiving yards. That's a strong number, a strong year, and they want that to continue. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it, and his throw is going to be incomplete. The Cowboys at 9-3 here on the year. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners at three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Up the middle they go. Childress. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Second down and six now. Now a handoff up the middle. Childress. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Third and four. He'll drop to throw. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 30. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Now back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Weiss. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys... Looked like he got going a little early. Hey man, let's play. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The full start backs him up five. First and 15. Now a give right side. Childress. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage. Back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second down now, Childress, and they'll get him down right around the 16. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And his kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. 
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Out comes the Washington offense as we get a look at the playoff race in the NFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. Encroachment, defense. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Here's a give up the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards that time. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Right back to him on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 33. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Looking to throw. Brooks. And this is going to be incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will tie us at 3-3. So they get the three. It was fourth and one, and I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And this late season game, of course, not lacking for drama when you talk about the AFC playoff picture. Yeah, in a sense, it's the haves versus the have-nots because this group on offense, they'd be a wild card if the postseason started today, but they know the guys on the other side of the ball are still in that dreaded in-the-hunt category, and they're hungry for a win today. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Up the middle they go. Childress, and he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. This is fielded at the 27. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. 
And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Brooks, he finds his man complete. It's Barnett. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Brooks, he finds his man complete. That's Barnett. Only able to gain a couple there. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Brooks from the gun on third down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up fourth. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. This is taken at the 15. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Weiss. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. Here's Jennings. He's got it to the 43 here. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. They'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll look to throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. And this taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. From the 24 now, here's second down and five. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. On 
first down. They'll go to the ground attack. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 49 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Looking to throw. Brooks. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. Our score, 10 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. From the 21, here's a second down and four. Back to throw, Brooks. Over the middle, that's caught by Ross. And they work this near the five, he'll be stopped at the six. Now the Cowboys are gonna burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Operating from the gun, Brooks. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. From six yards away. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage, and threw it his way. What a big-time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Dallas offense set for this next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 25 yards that time. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Forced out to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. He'll look to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. 
Jeffrey denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Brooks now throwing on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So that P.I. call will give him one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one unless there's another, another defensive one. penalty. And his kick here is good. And they will take the lead at 13-10. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the Commanders on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. Teams Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first point. half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Back to throw here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Back to throw now on first down. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. A big play there. 57 yards. And the Cowboys have retaken a third quarter lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one-score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense... 
They've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This is taken at the 10. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And out now come the Cowboys. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work had a bit of a lane there took advantage of it give them seven there on the first down carry but no matter how they phrase it staying on schedule staying ahead of the sticks whatever you want to call it seven yards on first down that fits the bill over the middle complete that's Weiss <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack, but the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's able to get it to Coleman. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there. 46 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off with a Cowboys touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. 
Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Pulled in at the 24. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And they will take over first and 10. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. On first down, Childress. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. This is second and eight. This is Jennings. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. And that throw there going to put him over 4,000 yards passing now for the season, maybe strengthening his MVP consideration. And you figure with still a handful of games left to play, 5,000 yards is not totally out of the realm of possibility. The way he is playing, I think he's going to get there. A gain of eight there on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off, and he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The Washington offense set to take over again. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now here come the Cowboys. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They'll run on first down. Childress, flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine.
They'll keep it on the ground. Childress. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They'll come up now third and three. Now a handoff up the middle. Childress and an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL and picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up then, isn't it? And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Jennings. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. Boy, they had it at the one. The full start moves it to the six now for first and goal. Following the penalty, they'll go back to the run game. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll try again. And he's going to lose yardage again as he is stuck behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. From six yards away. And the Cowboys are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Brooks throwing to start the drive toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And this offense on third down today, it's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and ten. Off the play fake. Brooks. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the ten, back at the nine. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Washington going to send out their punter as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. 
And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll try the left side. Childress gets around. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. 121 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run now with Jennings. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are closing in on win number 10 as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. As the Commanders make their way out on offense, let's take a peek at the playoff picture in the NFC. A CD after this game, there will be four weeks left in the regular season. So this is far from the final version of what we'll see come January, more of a first draft, if you will, as all these teams fight for a better position. And you pointed it out so accurately there, Brandon. After this game, four weeks left in the regular season, and then the playoffs officially begin. But for some teams trying to fight to make it to the playoffs, they're actually in a playoff push right now. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got okay, enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And six DBs on the field for Washington on third down. Up the middle they go. Childress and he will be very close to a first down but I see the closed fist of the referee and that means fourth down they tried their best to pick up that third and one but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side was it offensive line especially in the middle looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started so now we bring up fourth and inches this would be a critical call Forty-six yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Three 
Throwing to start the drive. Brooks. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. They'll look to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. Back to throw again. He's going to float this one deep right side, and that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now Brooks throwing on third and long. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 43. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Looking to throw. Brooks. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense so far on third down, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This will be third and six. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Jennings. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. This now a third and four. He'll drop to throw. 
That is caught. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense.